Previously on Dragon Quest Builders. I can. I've completed my tr first treasure. Oh! Well, look at that. A treasure room. And now, back to rebuilding Alfgard and making the Dragon Lord pay for it. Welcome, Mares and Stallions. My name is Moonsaber, and welcome to episode 7 of our Let's Play of Dragon Quest Builders. So in the previous episode, we learned how to make a colossal coffer. And with it, discovered our first treasure room. And also made a forge, which we can use to create some new items. And in this episode, we're going to go ahead and talk with our good stick-in-the-mud friend over here. And get started on a few more quests. Let's just, no nonsense, jump right into it. Ah, Moonsaber. Moonsaber. I've just been talking to Pippa. How's that been going? She said you were looking for new people to help your town grow. That is true. I would like some new uh, bodies around here. I think I might know where you could find someone. Ooh, do tell. On the far side of the Hammerhoods village, there's a small island connected to the mainland by a narrow land bridge. I think I saw that before. I passed by that place on my way here, and I thought I saw a bonfire burning. Hmm. You might want to head out there and see for yourself. I'm sure Pippa would be thrilled if you brought someone back with you. Oh, and Moonse? It's a long way away, so it can't hurt to build a place to sleep while you're out there. Have you seen any of those old broken down houses where you've been when you've been out on your wanderings? If you fix them up, you could use them as a home from home and take a break without having to come all the way back to the town. But it's up to you, really. For the time being, just follow your compass and see if you can find a new person to join your town. New quest markers appear on the compass. We have a person we need to go and save. Before we do that, I just want to take a quick look at weapons and armor. So let's see. I can make that. Not quite there yet, but it won't take me long to get there. Let's see, get the copper that I need. I need to get one more piece of copper. Awesome, that shouldn't take long. Let's hop right into it. Vroom. Getting the copper shouldn't take that much trouble. Yep, there's one right there. But I should probably get a few more copper, just to be on the safe side. And some coal. Can't hurt to have too much... Can't hurt... Can't hurt to have enough copper or coal. Copper, that should be good. Get one of you. Let's head back so we can start building. Let's first make some copper ingots and see what we can do with that. So with copper ingot, we realize we can make a scone. Functional, a copper cradle that keeps the torch attached to the wall. Light source, a score of 100 points. A copper sword, a simple sword with a blade of beaten copper. Attack plus 16. Excellent. Copper sword just takes one copper ingot. We're going to smack our hammer in the forge and make a copper sword. Then we're going to go back here. Now for the leather armor, we need three fur. 
and it has plus 9 defense, but Wayfarer's has plus 5 defense. I think I'm going to make a Wayfarer's close. And now let's go ahead to our equipment. Pop our new clothes on. And equip our new sword. We'll need that. And if in case you haven't noticed, in our Colossal Coffer, we do have a section that's made purely for equipment. So if you have any old equipment you just want to toss in there, you can just do that. Alright, we got a sweet new sword. And some Wayfair clothes. And you want to know something? I think we're about we're gonna do a bit of a challenge right now. Oh yeah. Those who remember our previous episode know exactly where I'm heading off to. Time to tangle with a beast. Oh. Ooh. Ow. Okay. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. Yep. I guess I wasn't strong enough. That did not turn out well. Hmm. Alright, not quite strong enough to be able to handle one of the one a dragon just yet. But we're getting there. We'll just need some better equipment. So yeah, as the as our buddy said, if you find homes that have like a door and a light source but are missing some walls, if you repair the walls, you can make a little home and use that as a place to sleep. Let's take out some clay. Since we build a room. And then we have a place we can sleep. A uh, big stretch. All right, and we are back out at it. Out. No wonder. Oh yeah, I can break that silver. Just collect a few pieces of silver. We'll collect more of these medical herbs. And some more broken branches, because we might need them to make another giant mallet. But anyway, we go across this pathway. Oil butterberries. I 
And we find this, uh, this some guy over here. Just hanging around. Hey, dude, what's up? Uh, who... Who are you? You shouldn't be here. It's not safe. You should leave. Now! Before it's too late! Uh-oh. Alright, come on, let's do this, skeletons. Ow. Ow. Die, die, smack. Ow. Not again. The monster is defeated. Kill them. Core, I can't believe you actually did it. You defeated the monsters. Yeah, I'm pretty awesome. I found this nice, strong cypher stick. Thought I'd give those monsters a good thrashing, but... Well, you can see how well that went. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that wouldn't have been as effective. Man, you should have made an oaken club. You might have gotten lucky this time, but these humans don't stand a chance against them. Let's chalk this one up to experience and keep our heads down from now on. Thank you, and goodbye. I wish you the best of luck out there. Now, nah, man, join our town. You'll be much safer in a group than by yourself. What? A town? There's a town on the other side of the teleportal? And you came all this way just to find me? Well, if you put it like that, I'll certainly come with you. It's not as if I got anywhere else to go. My name's Ken Lim. Pleased to meet you. Moonsay, at your service. Hmm, if only you had a Camaro one. We could get back to this town of yours in a flash. So that was a hint and hint that you can use a Camaro wing, even with a party, to go straight back to your base. And bam! Welcome to the village. Wow, look at the size of this place. I had no idea a city this big even existed. I mean, I'd hardly call it a city, but sure. Just being here makes me feel so alive. I can't remember the last time I felt so full of energy. Thanks for bringing me here, Moonsay. I suppose it's fitting that I'd end up living in Catlin. My ancestors used to be guards here. So if you need someone to keep this place safe, you can count on me. With your stick? Very well. So yeah, he'll be a guard and he'll just kind of walk around and guard at certain places. Well, look at that. So, ah, uh, Moonsay. So you found that fellow I told you about, did you? Judging by that ridiculous hat, it seems he fancies himself something of a soldier. Yeah, I guess. I didn't realize all soldiers wear hel uh, horned helmets. We don't need this kind here. I never should have told you about him. Well, dude, he's a guard. He'll help keep this place safe. Hmm? What's wrong with soldiers, you ask? All I'll say is that bad things happen when people band together. Doubly so if they're looking for a fight. But man, you need to just chill. You're being really, really bad. You're being really uncooperative, you know? Do you have any idea what brought the city of Catlin to ruin? Nope. I'm just building stuff. Just take it from me. You really don't want to go making this town any bigger. Still, you were only trying to help. Here, Moonsay, take this. You've earned it. We got a seed of life. Alright. I'll forgive you this time. But, judging by that marker over Rollo's head, looks like we got ourselves another fight on our hands. Let's do it. By my furry feet, Moonsay! It seems those vile monsters are planning another attack on our noble town. There are more of us than last time. And we have bigger and better weapons than before. But that doesn't mean we can let our guard down. So tell me, Moonsay, are you ready for this battle? Yes, I am. Let's do it. Epic screen transition. Epic music starts playing. Battle begins. Seven monsters, one phase. Brownies appear. Some more brownies. 
You two with your sticks. Camara. Check those out quickly. And finally, a large brownie. Ow. Which we get a liver sack from. And by clearing that, victory is ours. And we obtained the seed of life. But because we didn't upgrade our base last time, it just was a simple battle. But more importantly, we get a seed of life. And from that battle, we gain enough fur that we can create some leather armor. Man, I'm really decked out now in leather. And it looks like we have three new quests. One from Pippa, one from our new guard, whose name I forget, and one from Rolo. Let's see. I will make another giant melon, because the one that I have is about to break. Make some more chimera wings. Make a bunch more medical herbs. Make another healing thing. Go ahead and tidy that up. Put that away, put that away, put that away. So a uh, leather sack is a decoration that you can hang up on the wall. It's got 100 points. I think we'll first start by talking with Pippa. Let's see what quest she's got for us. Thanks for getting rid of all those awful monsters again, Moonsay. But Moonsay, if you got a moment, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Yes, I would like to go on a date with you. I've been having so much fun lately, spending the whole day making all kinds of different things. But when the night comes and we all go to bed, I just can't concentrate on my work with everyone around. So Moonsay, would you be able to make a room just for me? It would need some kind of sign on the wall so people would know that it's mine. You're pretty clever, Moonsay. I'm sure you'll be able to think of something. I'll need a straw mattress to sleep on, a pot in the corner, and a special sign on the wall. Please, Moonsay, make me a room of my own. Hmm. Well, I just figured out how to make a lady sign, functional, a rich red sign to signify the denizens of a, the denizen of a dwelling. When placed inside a room, can be used to assign it to a female resident, score of 100 points. And of course, we'll also know how to make a gentleman sign, a bold blue sign to signify the denizen of a dwelling. When placed inside a room, can be used to assign it to a male resident. And an inn sign, a sign that shows guests are welcome to stay the night, score of 100 points. And a shop sign, a sign that shows that a shop sells items, score of 100 points. So we just figured out how to make a bunch of signs, and Pippa wants us to create her a room of her own. Which we'll need a pot. Go ahead and... Let's see if I can make that real fast. Yep. Make a quick pot. For a lady sign, we need orange oil, magic dye, and wood. Let's go back out there quickly and grab ourselves orange oil. There you are. Gotcha. Orange oil has orange oil has been acquired. Let's head back. With the orange oil in hand, I will go we will go and make a lady sign.
And just to make sure that we're straw mattress. We need one more grassy loop. Alright. Let's go ahead and collect some of this dirt. this hole up. And we will go and... I forgot, we'll need a... Actually, do we... there's another straw door in here. Yes, there is. Nice. Let's take this straw door. Place it right there. And then we'll start building a room out. Gonna need some more dirt. And it's getting night. Getting to dusk. classified as a room yet. Probably because of this corner. There we go. Empty room. Let's make a strong mattress. And we got another bugger. So having this guard, having our guard here guard friend here will actually help when monsters come around our base. Because he'll just start attacking them to the best of his ability. Alright, pop the strong mattress down there. And the empty room turns into a private bedroom. And then we can come over here and just mark on the bedroom and mark that this place belongs to Pippa. And there you go, Pippa. You have your own room. Hooray! You made me a room of my very own. Thank you, Moonsay. Keelum spends the whole night plodding around the city, and Lurch keeps screaming in his sleep. And Rolo snores so loudly I'm scared the walls will collapse. I can't concentrate on all of my own... at all on my super secret project. Wait, what's this about a super secret project? Huh? What's my super secret project? Tell me. Hehe. <laughs> That's a super secret, silly. But don't worry, I'll tell you when it's ready. Uh, no, you better tell me now. I'm the one who's got to build it anyway, so you might as well do it now. Oh, and it'd be really great if you could write my name on the sign in my room. Thank you. I already did that. You got another quest for me already? Man. Two more Camaro Wings. Hmm, what to do? I think... Let's go and... Yeah. Let's go ahead and talk with Pippa again. Oh, Moonsay! Thanks for making a room just for me. Now that I finally have my own space, I've been able to finish my super secret project. Oh, already? That was fast. 
This whole time, I've been making new clothes for everyone. Just like a... Well, I'm sorry. I gave Rolo his outfit first to see how it looked on him. But he wouldn't try it on. He said he couldn't possibly get changed in front of everyone else. I mean, why not? Just go find a nice corner, take off your clothes, put the new ones on. So, Moonsave, I was wondering if you could build a room where we could all change into our new outfits. It would need to have a couple of stone stools for us to sit on, and something to keep all the clothes in. Do you think you invent something for storing clothes, Moonsave? Hmm, let me think on that for a moment. I just realized how to make an um, Amora decoration. A stony storage closet for keeping clothes in. Score of 200 points. So now she wants us to make a dressing room. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Amora. That requires... Ooh. Three wood, a stone, one copper ingot, three coarse cloth, and a cord. We'll also need some stone stools, which require stone and fur. Hmm. And that'll be a bit of a project, which we will have to get started on next time. So anyway, hope you all enjoyed this nice video. Part and hope don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe if you want to have more content. If you want to see more content and keep up to date on all my work, I try to upload it every day. And I hope you all are having a great day. Take care. And bye-bye.